Hello everyone, it's me Gabe here. I'm so sorry for not making a video in a while, but I suddenly felt motivated to make one. And while thinking of video topics, I suddenly thought of this literally an hour ago. So I thought why not take a trip down memory lane because a lot of you don't really know me as when I was pre-T because those videos aren't on here. They're on another channel that I will share with you in the months to come whenever I have a chance to do so. I don't have a laptop, so that's why videos have been very sporadic but right now. I'm going to go through my old Facebook statuses. I have them compiled in this nice little list, all stapled together. I think it's like three, four pages, uh, three pages. Yeah, three, four, three, four pages in here. And basically, it's going to go through from the time I came out as trans, more or less, to about the time where I started testosterone, just to share a little bit what my life was like pre-T and like leading up to the time I actually got my first T shot and I find a lot of these things are going to be things that you might relate to. Now just a quick disclosure before we get started on reading through this list. Um, some of this is going to sound very cringy. Um, toxic masculinity even and I used to identify as a trans man so the posts are really going to reflect that. I don't identify as that way anymore. I'm non-binary. I use they them pronouns but back then I was using he him and I went through a huge list of like different male names back then. So yeah, just a quick disclosure before I really get into it. And on that note, let's get started. So my journey more or less starts on April 7, 2014, where I wrote, I got rejected from graduate school. And if that wasn't enough, my mom got a call from our boss saying I'm not a doing a good job according to a coworker. I know who that bitch is and I'm going to get sacked. Somebody please shoot me. This was basically the lowest point of my life and basically the time where I went through Tumblr and found out I was transgender at this point. So yeah, I was working a job I really hated. It forced me into a very feminine dress code and so I was kind of low-key happy about that. But the fact that I'm not making any money basically sucks. I was living in my parents' house and I still do. So yeah, it was not the highest point of my life. The day after that, April 8th, 2014, it's really taking a lot of my energy to just get up and go to the gym. I've never hit such a low point in my life. Again, I just got fired and I got rejected from a master's program of social work. So yeah, I was still not feeling that well. On to April 10th, 2014, I wrote on my Facebook profile, I'm going to get therapy because something's got to give and it's pretty obvious that I just can't pull myself out on my own. I wasn't seeking therapy. I never so sought out therapy in my life and I felt like this was what I needed and it's been what I've been needing for years. I'm not going to go really into that because it's very private and I don't think I'll ever go over it on Facebook or YouTube or basically go public with it ever because it's extremely dark. On May 10, 2014, I wrote, Mom made me shave off my mustache. I'll have you know that I love my mustache, okay? Takes a shit ton of time to grow as opposed to the rest of my neck beard, but I love it, damn it. And the day after, May 11, 2014, which I assume is Mother's Day, I wrote, I hate Mother's Day. You're supposed to give me a hug. You're supposed to give me my card in the morning, not in the afternoon. I guess this is stuff that my mom was telling me because she's very controlling and she likes everything to be super freaking perfect on her special day. And I also wrote, I'm already wearing a damn feminine outfit for dinner today for the sake of upholding your illusion of a perfect family, so shut the fuck up. I'll give you your card during the night anyway, so calm your tits. I don't really have good relationships with my parents, and it's why they're not in any of my videos. I don't mention them, and they're not anywhere on social media, really. So, yeah, that's basically what I have to deal with. On May 13, I wrote, the average male in the United States is around 5'10". I'm only 5'6", and it's already known that testosterone will make me taller. Damn it. I was actually 5'5", five five, but somehow on my ID they made it 5'6". But I did go up to 5'6", which made that the truth now. It's just for some reason they made me taller on my New York State ID than I actually was. So I did grow like half an inch. And on May 29, 2014, I wrote, So I'm writing a coming out letter to my parents about being transgender. There isn't an easy way to do this. When I came out to my parents, it actually never involved a letter, and I'll just leave it at that. And a couple of days before my birthday, I wrote, 2014 FIFA World Cup starts today. Oh wait, it's been four years, and it's actually gonna be on 
my birthday. The 2018 Free For World Cup is coming, and it's actually going to be on my birthday, so that's pretty cool. Beware of studying fat and boying. It's part of the whole Spanish package. <laughs> it's very true. Wait until my birthday comes up. You're going to see me start like raving about soccer on Instagram. I promise you. The day after, I wrote, I got a call back from a gender therapist saying that therapy sessions would have been handled via Skype and getting an HRT top surgery letter would take no more than 12 sessions, which is apparently three months. Initial session is $375 and follow-ups are $200 each. Holy crap. More incentive to find a damn job so I could somehow finance this. Keep in mind that I had no job still and I was still on the job search. So just to hear that was very demoralizing. And on my birthday, which is June 14th, Flag Day, and I also share this birthday with Trump. So please don't fucking remind me. Thanks, guys, for the birthday wishes. I'll reply each of them shortly. Hopefully, I'll be on tea injections and name changes to Marcel by my next birthday. Marcel was actually my first choice for my name, but my brother's name is way too similar to that, so I it was off limits, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have really kept that name for sure. June 16, I wrote, looking for a transgender therapist. Hopefully, I can find one that does the sliding scale. And uh, fun fact about this status, this is actually when me and my best friend Logan started talking, and it's been uh, four years of friendship as of right now. I should, honestly, uh, after this video, I actually got to text him this because... It's going to take us to a trip down memory lane. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. On June 22nd, I wrote, told my older brother that I'm transgender. We're not close at all, not since that incident. And that's the incident I preluded a couple of statuses ago. It's something I may never talk about publicly on YouTube. As I said, it's, it, it's really dark. So, And I kind of don't want to bring that up, that laundry up. So anyways, something that occurred when I was a child, but he should know anyway. Just to clarify, I actually texted my brother because I barely see him because, you know, he was off in graduate school, if I remember correctly, for chiropractor or he was still in college. I, I don't remember. But a little later this same day, I wrote in a status. My brother's response made my day. He wrote, thanks for letting me know, Andrea. That was my old one of my old birth names. Um, it's not my actual first name. No matter what happens, I will always be there for you and support you 100%. I just want you to be happy. If this is what's going to take to make it happen, then I back you 100%. I don't want you to feel weird or anything around me. Feel free to talk to me and reach out for me, uh, any advice, whether it's medical advice or anything else. I'm here with my doors open. This status is extremely ironic to me because this is someone I barely talk to anymore as a result of that incident that happened in childhood, and he ended up being the most supportive person at the start so but i still never really talked to him because i was just very uncomfortable so i probably shouldn't have done that since he was like supposedly my first ally but yeah and much later in that this same day june 22nd still i wrote i'm thinking of male names any suggestions and some people basically said they want my name to be adrian one person thought i should call myself hope like i, I don't i don't know and one person wanted me to call myself after the actor James Dean, which, looking back, it's pretty badass. And the next day, June 23rd, I wrote, apparently my mom already told my dad about being transgender. I'm still not on speaking terms with my dad due to him never congratulating me on my bachelor's degree. No, all I got was yelling and the yearbook thrown at me because my yearbook photo was missing. While my mother is fine with it, she doesn't understand nor does she make the effort to understand how gender dysphoria affects me in all aspects of why I'm unhappy, angry, and treat certain people badly. She just tells me it's no big deal. She should really research before making assumptions like that. Now you're probably wondering what I was talking about with the yearbook thing. Um, my, I got a yearbook from my college because I graduated and they published the yearbook a couple months later so I brought it home but my picture was nowhere to be found. My dad got pissed because he paid for the pictures and he threw the yearbook at me and he leaves for a bit and he comes back later and he basically tells me my bachelor's degree in psychology was a fucking piece of shit and he throws that uh, to me too and he called it useless. Yeah, me and my, this is basically the most biggest reason why I changed my entire name, including my last name. Now fast forward to July 24, 2014. Uh, this is going to sound really fucked up and even now I'm cringing just trying to read this. But I wrote, if I tell you that you don't pass as a man when you post a picture of yourself and ask, you should attempt to fix that. I'm not going to lie to you and say you don't look androgynous with feminine curves if I know it's not going to help. 
Don't be surprised if you get outed for not following advice. Wow, I was a really fucked up person. Yeah, no, this is this is something I would never say now. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm so sorry to whoever I referred that to because that that was wow. Yeah, that's totally not like me. I'm sorry. On August 1st, I wrote two more months. I guess that would be a good time to tell everyone that I'm looking to getting a legal name change. While I'm not exactly forcing anyone to use my preferred name and male pronouns at this moment, I still want to tell everyone that my new name will be, be Francesco. I don't know why I picked this name. Pretty long name, so the names Frankie, Franco, and Nico will suffice. You can still call me Jackie if it's really hard for you to make this change and try to get used to it. But once I get my first testosterone shot sometime in October, don't you dare call me that. Why did I pick Francesco? Why? What was going through my mind? Like, I, I, that's not, That sounds like a really bad name to me now. Wow. And on September 4th, I wrote, I will look at well-known trans men such as Skylar Kurgell and Ryan Silence and think to myself, that could be me someday. It's funny how time passed because I actually met Skylar and we're actually friends and we text each other every once in a while and we're actually friends now. So I... Through over the past four years, I started to shift from looking at him at, as an idol or someone to look up to, to someone as equal as I am and basically being a friend in arms. So it's funny how we I shifted from someone I looked up to to someone who I admire very much, but I'm also friends with and I appreciate and we're like siblings, brothers, if you will, because if we talk, we, we never stop talking. We're like so alike. It's kind of crazy. We're almost getting to the end, friends. On September 25th, I wrote, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and get my hair cut next week. I actually never did. I was still fucking scared as hell. Uh, parents are going to be pissed, but oh well, I might as well get used to that because it's only the beginning. And a couple of days after, on October 1st, I wrote, one week left. It's been an amazing yet torturous three months that I had to endure for, but time flew by and I can't wait for this. Just taking the time this week to reflect on my life, kill off the what ifs, and imagine where I'm going to go from here. I actually started pursuing testosterone in July, uh, but they told me there was a huge waiting list and they couldn't get me in earlier than October, so I took that spot and yeah, I had to wait three months to actually get my testosterone shot after my blood work was done, so it was a lot of waiting and waiting and vicariously living through other people's transitions by watching YouTube videos. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. Maybe not really, but yeah, that's what I was doing for three months. Two days before I started testosterone, I wrote on October 6th, so um, I'm leaving this Facebook account forever since I want to at least attempt stealth and see if I can pull it off in the words of Judge Duty. Never happened. If you want me to add you and you respect not outing me, you can like the status and I'll get around to it. Yeah, once again, never happened. And the next day, uh, which was my last status ever on that Facebook account, I wrote on October 7, 2014, it's been real, guys. Stay wild, everyone. Have a good future. And that, my friends, is the end of my Facebook post on that account. And the day after, October 8, 2014, I received my first testosterone shot. And so my physical journey into becoming who you see today began. That was a really big trip down memory lane, and some of the posts were really cringy, don't you think so? I hope you all found that video helpful, insightful about me, or just found it plain good fun. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon.